Okay, so it says a uniform plank A to B is mass 40 kg. So if that's uniform, um, straight in the middle, you've got to get the mass acting down, which is going to be 40 g. Okay, um, 5 meter long hangs with two vertical ropes. Uh, these are the tensions holding it up. This is the tension at C, and this is the tension holding it up at A. Okay. When a particle of P of weight 28 newtons is attached to B, okay, so that weight is attached to B, the plank is in equilibrium. So there's a weight attached to B, which is going to be 28 newtons. The plank rests in equilibrium. Okay. If the tension, uh, if the tension in the rope C is three times the tension, so T C is going to be three times the tension at A. Find the tension at C uh, and the distance C B. Okay. So first of all. Um, Right, let's do let's do things vertically. So vertically, so in the y direction, what you got is you got T A plus um, T C. These are going up, which is balanced by forty G plus twenty eight newtons. Now I know that um, T C is three A, so that's going to give me T A plus three T A. And that's going to be 40 multiplied by 9.8 is going to give me 392 newtons plus the 28. It's going to give me so that plus that is going to be 40. And that's going to be balanced with 420 newtons. And if we divide that by 4, you get TA to be 105 newtons. So first one done, tension that T is 105, distance CB, distance from there to there. Okay, so if we take the moment at B, so we got um, um, CB. So we don't know what that distance is, we'll call that X. This is going clockwise, this is going clockwise, and we don't... We don't include that weight because it's going through B, so this is going anti clockwise, so balancing with that. So we got, um, we got x times 105 plus this length is 5 times. Now, oh, I made an error here, sorry. Made an error for that, but then. Let me just quickly, so tension at T, C should have been actually 3 times, I'll just go back to that, so multiply that by 3, and that's going to be 315, and that means this will have to change, sorry, so basically, so tension is going to be 315 there, so that's going to be 315 multiplied by the distance X, uh, plus, then this distance here is 5 multiplied by, now this is just 1t, which is going to be 105. Okay, so you're times in that by 5, times in that by that, so they're going in that um, clockwise, and that's balancing with, which is going to equal um, 2.5. And center of mass 40 G. Okay, so let's just quickly work this out. So that's 315 X plus uh, 1 of 5 times 5. It's going to give me 525 equals, and I'm going to get 2.5 times 40 times 9.8. That's going to give me 980. So 350x is going to equal to the multiple weight of 5 to 5. It's going to give me 455. I'm going to take this to the other side. And then 
x would equal, then I divide it through, 155 divided by 315, and that is going to give me 1.44 recurring meters to freezing meters. So the distance CP is going to be 1.44 meters. Okay, so we'll put a line down here so we keep that separate.